Hello everyone, I'm Lost Bobbin, and I like to make stuff. Now you could describe today's video as Bobbin transforms a thrifted planter using all of her crafty know-how. Or you could describe today's video as Bobbin makes a realistic version of the Minecraft flower pot with a cherry tree sapling. Now in my past videos, I started with a Minecraft animation to set the scene for what I was going to build and to prove my authenticity as a gamer. But whether you play Minecraft or not is unimportant. My hope is that you simply enjoy watching the video because I love to make things. I also love to play Minecraft. And this is my channel where I get to make loads of different crafts, all inspired by Minecraft motifs, blocks, and gameplay. Well, I'm glad you're here and I hope you stay. If you're a hobby crafter like me, I hope you find inspiration in the techniques I use versus worrying about the theme. But if you love Minecraft, hopefully you also enjoy watching stuff from the game come to life. Well, you're here now, so let's get on with it. While I prep the glass for painting, I'll take you back to the beginning of this whole project. So I was talking about making a flower pot with a crafty girlfriend of mine who does not play Minecraft. She suggested the baking soda technique to get the ceramic look on the pot. Man, what a great idea. And then after lunch, we walked over to the thrift store and I found a ton of cheap square candle holders. Okay, that was the easy part. Moving on to paint, don't get wrapped up in the exact ratio of baking soda to paint because it's only about adding texture to the paint. It's not chemistry. It's okay to go with your gut. Next, I made templates of the pixels and I am scratching the lines into my spray paint layer to make painting with the acrylic easier. Speaking of acrylic, I picked up this paint from a store called Scrap in Portland. It reminded me of a different shop called the Scrap Exchange that I used to go to in Durham, North Carolina when I was in college. Now, I also found a shop in California called Legacy when I lived near Sebastopol. Man, I love these kinds of stores so much. Crafting is stupid expensive and it's kind of wasteful. So anytime you can use somebody else's trash or dip into someone else's stash, the better. All right. While each coat dries, I'm going to work on the crepe paper cherry tree. Oh, oh, wait, let me show you this other planter I found. Look, it's already brown and square, just like in the game. Check it out. I bought a cactus and some mossy stuff to seal the top. Ta-da! I have technically just made a realistic version of the Minecraft flower pot with cactus. So if you have a Minecrafty friend, this along with a Minecraft themed card would make for a superb little gift. All right, now for the cherry tree. So this whole project was supposed to only be about painting the planter. I assumed I would not only find a cactus, but also be able to find live versions of Minecraft flowers. Well, guess what? It's harder than expected. Poppies and alums are tall and gangly. Lily of the Valley is invasive. Dandelions would work, but mine already went to seed. Meanwhile, my kid is reminding me just how much the cherry sapling looks like a little bonsai tree. And I start thinking, well, okay, that would be fun and pretty. Have I mentioned that these projects get out of control fast? Fast forward to me finding a video where the Blossom creator simply pulls out fake stamens as if they're a thing you could find anywhere. And I spend 30 minutes in the craft store learning that no, they're not that common or they cheap, but her video is linked below because the rest of it was still useful. So then I found a second video on how to make the stamens. All right, let's jump back to see how I made these things. It was pretty wild. Starting with a cold iron, make a little foil boat and add chunks of hot glue. Heat the iron to cotton setting and then melt a little oil pastel for the color so then you wrap some plastic line around your hand, cut both loops to make little strings, and then you dip each end into your gluey goo and let it dry. I'll link the original video below if this was too fast. But man, I was surprised how easy this was, and it was a lot of fun. Like, I'm kind of glad that I couldn't find them at the store. So now we're going to get on to making the little flowers and the inner part is using red crepe paper. It's this little fringy stuff. So you basically you cut fringe and then you glue it on. And then the petals are using pink crepe paper. And y'all, I'm, I'm not going to lie. 
this this was this was horrible. I did not enjoy this craft one bit. I I don't know. Maybe I just don't like getting glue on my fingers. Paint doesn't bother me. I don't know. But I made like five million of these, and and it it was hard. But I got through it, and then I've got this like kind of cool pile of of little of little petal things here. So in the end, worth it. You may notice that my blossom petals are not petal shaped, and this is a hundred percent nod to Minecraft. I left the blossoms squared off at the top to keep the craft within theme. I'm also using a couple colors of pink to match the reference art. Ooh, speaking of reference art, so I try to go in game versus online as much as possible because I'm able to capture more detail that way and check it out. The sapling is basically like those old crafts where you slot two. 2D shapes together to make a 3D shape. Now I'm sitting here working thinking that those little 2D things would make fabulous party decorations for a Minecraft theme party. Maybe I'll make a video on that. I don't know. What do y'all think? Assembling all the little petals into a bonsai tree was a bit more fun. I have determined that I hate floral tape, but I enjoyed the process of building up the little tree. I used the Minecraft reference for the main branches, but I didn't see how being too rigorous with the flowers would benefit the project. As I got towards the end, I used more wire to bind all the smaller branches together, and then I wrapped more crepe paper around the whole base to make it nice and thick, and then I covered it in that dang floral tape, but you know, whatever. Ooh, this is looking so cool! All right, so instead of buying frog at the store, I've repurposed some old packaging from a thing we bought. This should hold my sapling in place. Wow, this is super pretty. The pixelation on the pot and strange square petals may cause non-gamers to wonder, but I think the effect is pretty subtle. Of all of my projects, this one has been the most popular. Oh, yep, it's gone. Okay, kids got it now. So that's it. I like to make stuff. And I really like to make stuff that's been inspired by Minecraft. I think it's a treasure trove of icons and imagery, and, and I think it deserves to be taken up a notch. I mean, the game's been out for 15 years, so a lot of the original players are, you know, in their 30s and higher. And having some nice decor that, that still reminds them of the game, I think there's a place for that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and see you next time.